Okay, let's talk about something really useful, Google Fonts. Now, back in 2010, Google started to offer web fonts for free, and it quickly became the biggest repository, the fastest repository for free fonts to use on the web. I can have fonts installed on my computer. That's great, that's wonderful. And I can come in here and I can say that I want to set the font family to something that I have installed on my computer. That's going to work for me if I'm looking on my web pages, on my browser, on my computer. But somebody else may not have that same font installed. That's why we build font stacks with the fallbacks. Google fonts, or web fonts in general, this is how we use some really nice fonts that are available for free. Um, I could, in theory, upload a font from my computer to a web server, link to it from there, and then anybody in the world can use it. But if I don't have a license for it, then I, I'm guilty of copyright infringement. There are fonts that are designed to be used for print publishing. There's fonts that are designed to be used for the web. There's ones that are free, and there's ones that are paid. Google Fonts is a collection of free ones. You don't have to pay anything to use them. Google wants people to use nicer fonts to have nicer looking web pages. So let's say, for the sake of argument, that I'm building this page and I want to use a serif font for my headings. And then I want to use a sans serif font for my body text. So I have whatever my system wants to use as the serif and the sans serif right now. I'm going to use Google Fonts to bring in and use some nicer fonts. So, the website, fonts.google.com, pretty easy to remember. And this is what it looks like. These are different fonts, samples of lots and lots and lots and lots of different fonts. You can see how far I can scroll down here. There's tons of fonts available. There's a search as well that allows you to narrow this down because if you had to really look at every font, it would take forever to, <laughs> you'd die of choices. So let's start with the serif. We're gonna try to find one for the heading. So I will unselect all the other categories of fonts. I only want to find a serif one. Okay, so in my serif groups here, we can scroll through starting to look for one that we like or we can actually search for if you know the name of a font so here we go Allegria I like this font so I'm gonna take this one what I'm going to do oh yeah and on the website here you can also change the text that's being displayed if you want to put in a piece of text that you're going to be using to see how that's going to render you can do that so I'm going to click the plus sign right here to select it. So I have one family selected now. Now for the body text, I'm going to have a serif font for my headings and sans serif fonts for my body text. So we'll unselect that, go down to sans serif. Now the one I want to use is called open sans. Here it is. So open sans. Now we can change the style of this to see what it looks like but I'm just gonna add this quickly and then click on here to see here's the two fonts that I've selected and these two fonts this one's a serif font this is a sans serif font I'm going to include these in my web pages we can do the standard CSS I can add a link tag I can copy and paste this link tag, put it into my page, or if you prefer the syntax for import, we can do that. So I'm going to do this one. I'm going to copy that, come over into here, and paste. There we are. I have an at import that's going to bring in, now let's expand this to make it a little easier to read. There we are. So this is the URL that all of the fonts begin with. And then you'll have family equals the names of the fonts. If you want to specify a specific weight, we could say, instead of bringing down everything, let's only bring down 700 weight. This is bold. So I want the bold Allegria. And now I can come in here, add that to my list, and 
font weight I will set to 700. Bold. Okay, I have that saved. I'll come take a look at my page. There we are. This is the font. So if we... Here, let's show both at the same time here. There we go. If I remove this... There we are. That's the default serif. And there it is with Allegria. We can do the same thing down here. This is the default sans serif font. And then I will add open sans. There we are. So there's my, my font pairing that I'm going to use. Allegria with 700 weight and open sans falling back to sans serif. Now, I haven't done a full font stack here. I've just done a web font and then a default. Inside here, I've done the basic uh, includes for these things. We can also customize. So with Open Sans, we're bringing down the regular. With Allegria, I had said 700. That was what I wanted. Now if I come back here, you can see there's the 400 and 700. I didn't want the 400. I just wanted the 700, so I put colon 700. You can put a comma between all the different weights if you want. So I can remove the regular. I don't need that. And you'll see as you, uh, if you add in all of these options, this little thing up here will change. Right now it says load time slow because I'm loading all these different versions. If I didn't bring all these versions, it gets to become a moderate load time and then a fast load time. So I'm bringing in two fonts, one font weight for each. That's still fast. Languages. Well, do you just need the Latin? Do you need the Latin extended? Do you need Greek and Cyrillic as well? So depending on the font and depending on the languages that you need, you can do this. Okay, so I've got those selected. One other thing that uh, it doesn't show in the customization, but you can actually limit which text gets used. I'm just going to slide this over a little bit. There we are. We can come in here and say and text equals there. G and F, capital G, capital F. So there's the capital G, there's the capital F. And I'm only getting those two letters being brought in. That's the only text that I'm that I'm bringing in. Those are the only letters, capital G, capital F. Those are the only ones that are being brought in. So the other letters are all fallbacks. If I was to write out, there, we've got Google written in Allegria. And now I've got fonts. So this would be an optimizing thing you can do, or it's something like if you want to do that ransom note style where you've got different letters for different things, you can limit which characters are actually brought in as part of this. So that's the and text. I will just leave it as a comment here. There we are. Okay, so we've got the Google font. We did import. We could have brought it in as a link tag as well. We specified the weight that we want. We can specify that we only want the 400 here. We're speeding it up by saying it's limited to just that weight. Um, that's the default. Or we can say 500 or 400. That's the default weight that we're getting in here. Step was to talk about those fallback fonts. We've got Allegria, we've got this, the generic, we've got Open Sans, we've got the generic, but there's nothing in between. So if this fails to load, or if it's really slow to load, then we want to have something that's much closer matched to this. So, great website here. Mioni.ca, fantastic website. Here's the web font. I want Allegria. That's the one that I want. It's going to download it from Google Fonts. We can play with the size. So let's go 24 pixel, make this easier to read. 
There we are. Line height, you can play with the weight. So 700 is what we were using. There we go, 700. So Georgia, that's okay. We could uh, take a look at some other serif fonts to play around with this. Times. Times New Roman. So this is a, a sans serif font, Arial. So you can compare the difference. Um, this is how you can go through. If you've got a list of fonts you want to compare it to, you can provide the names here to find something that matches. And then the section down here at the bottom, Overlapped. This is showing the same text with both fonts. So options, so you can show them in different colors. So red for one, black for the other. And then this creates a little animation so you can see the difference. F-O-U-C stands for Flash of Unstyled Content. So you see one while the web font is loading and then it quickly changes. The goal of this is to have something that doesn't dramatically change. Like if I were to come in here and say, okay, this one's 16 pixels, that one's 38 pixels. There, you can see huge change between the two fonts. This is not an effect that you want to have. You want to get these things as close as possible to one another so that as you are styling them, whatever font size you're picking, it's the same. It's going to be the same font size regardless of the font. So you want to make sure that these two things are pretty close to one another. Now, this is a bad match. You would never replace Allegria with Arial. But Palatino, Georgia, something like that. This is something that you could use as a replacement font. All right, so that's Google Fonts. I will include the links for this great tool, the links to the Google Fonts website, and a code pen for this code so you can play around with it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you found this useful, please share it with other people. And as always, thanks for watching.